What's up, people? Wearing my Mario Brothers characters Club Nintendo shirt today. Let me model it for you. Da 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 da. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Just looking at the game room. Grub Gun has seen it and he's commented a bit there, letting on that it's actually quite a disaster area. I think I've said that myself, actually. Talked to him last night on Skype, by the way, along with Lloyd. Good times, good times. Thanks, guys. Wow, I'm getting off track and I haven't even uh, started yet. What's going on? <clears throat> um, wait for it. Hold on, let me just restart that. What's up, everybody? Thanks to Lloyd Retro Dreaming for that intro. Yeah. Oh, I was saying, <coughs> I was talking to those dudes last night in the game room and stuff. I really need to be cleaning the game room because I need to make space. Well, I need to do that anyway, but yeah, I really need to make space. Another hint. Yeah. I have this stuff that I got hard off, obviously. You probably know that already. I mean, judging by whatever the title ends up being in that intro. It wasn't a banner day at Hard Off, but uh, it was alright. I went there, I actually talked myself out of going. Yeah, that's right, because I had other things to do. But then I remembered that there was one thing in particular that I needed to look for there, and I'll save that for last because it includes a spoiler for what may very well be the next episode. Episode? The next video that I put up. So, we'll start with... Uh, ooh. I got a couple consoles and a bunch of games. So there you go. That's a little preview of what you're about to see. Um, pretty much I bought a bunch of games that were a dollar each. This one, however, was $3. 324 yen. And I paid a bit more for it. I guess I should open it up. It's not... Of course I say that and then I don't have anything to cut stuff with. So... I don't want to use my teeth because it's probably really, really disgusting. Ugh, ow! <laughs> yeah, um, do they have anything that are worth talking about? Oh, I will say this, they had a Neo Geo AES at Hard Off, without a box or anything, but it came with the, the controller that normally comes with it, plus one of the Jelly Bean ones that they released after they came out with a Neo Geo CD, and a couple cheap fighting games, and they wanted $300 for it. And this is at Hard Off, mind you, so their prices aren't always that good. Right, so $3 I paid for this which presumably, it was in plastic, so I don't know yet, is Super Mario Brothers, but it came with a manual and this neat little case. Now, yeah, oh wow, it's in good shape too. Must have kept it in the case. So I've already got this, but I didn't have a Famicom case like this. That is really neato, super neato. You can see me again, well, whatever. So I paid a little extra just to have that, and hey, let's take a look at this manual. I doubt that it's going to be full color glory. This is really uh, minimalistic. But this is what Super Mario's manual on the Famicom looks like. Lots and lots of black and white text with some orange action. There you go. Uh, this game, to me, is what changed it all, really. For my for my life as a gamer and just in general, like the, the whole, you know, uh, market, right? It undid the damage that E.T. did, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to go into that kind of stuff, because I don't really know what I'm talking about, and if you do, you've already figured that out, and you're probably not watching, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey! Right. Um. Oh, another one with a little case. I didn't have a case like this. It's kind of dirty. I'll have to clean that up. Ew, dirty. But this is whoosh, Antarctic Adventure. It's got a little tape on it, but I'm hoping, thinking, maybe I can get that off without messing it up. In the meantime, I'll keep it in that dirty case, <laughs> which is already messed up. Another game with a manual. Oh, and I don't have to open it this time. 
Tetris, and manual and price tag. Sales tax in Japan went up from 5% to 8% recently, right before I bought an engagement ring, which was sweet because I really needed to pay an extra $100 or whatever it was for sales tax. <sighs> yeah, anyway, so that's lame. And it's going to go up to 10% soon, so it must be time to move. I don't know. <laughs> they had this. Um, I don't like to buy. This is a super. I don't remember what this, what's called anymore. Famicom Disk System game. No super. But this is Super Mario Brothers 2, which is uh, the Japanese version, obviously, so it's wicked difficult. Uh, and it's just like the first Super Mario Brothers, but it's got poison mushrooms and that kind of thing. And this is one that I, I went looking for when I got my Famicom Disk System. The reason I don't really buy these games anymore is because they're super unreliable. And it might say that it has a game, but because they had these disc I forget what they were called. But basically, you could take your Famicom Disk System disc. You could go and put in some money and erase the game that you had on your disc and put it on a different one. So even though it might say that you have Super Mario Brothers 2 in this case, it could be tennis. You don't know. And you can't test it in the store because I'm well, almost never. There might be some store somewhere that would let you. I probably know one. Anyway, but it was a dollar, right? So I bought it. And uh, I haven't played with my disc system for quite a while, so I think that it might be time to do that. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, it was a dollar, right? But it might. There's, I reckon there's a good chance it will, but I just have... I have I don't know, I guess I have about 30 Famicom Disk System games, and I think 10 of them just don't do anything, right? Or, they, or they're not what they say they are, or whatever. Uh, what should we do next? I guess we'll stick with the Famicom games first. I got me some Flappy for, about, for a dollar. Uh, eh, it's not in great condition. Got the price tag. Usually those come off, though, because they don't stick around. The decent Famicom games don't last long at hard off. They probably are gone within a week, usually, so the price tag doesn't have enough time to... You know, get really stupid. Argus, which is a shoot 'em up. I'm not gonna say how good it is. I can't really remember, but like I'm, I'm not gonna not buy a shoot 'em up, please. And it's even got color on the back, which is pretty cool. And as I said, hopefully these price tags will come off without too much struggle. One of my favorite games ever on the NES. Uh, now I have it twice on the Famicom. This is Baseball Stars. Love the NES version of that because you could you know upgrade your players and you know play a whole season and all that kind of stuff. And this sticker is annoying me, so I'm just going to get it off so I can show you the whole label. I don't know if I have this. I want to say I must, right, because I'm me, but I don't know. Now I do. Space Invaders for the Famicom. Yeah, number one. Look at that, number one. Now, where am I putting all this stuff? So, yeah, I really need to be cleaning my game room right now. Another great game, Tetris DX Deluxe. Excellent. A dollar. And let's move on to some... I don't know. Yeah, we'll do PlayStation 1 next. I actually have the Beat Mania thing. Uh, I got that hard off, too. And apparently the games themselves are not that uh, in demand. So they just bundled them all together. Well, not all of them, but the ones that they had, or some of the ones they had. That says Beat Mania, Beat Mania, Pen... Well, you can read the English... Got, got a mix, fourth mix, fifth mix, whatever. I think I reached for them just to grab fifth mix, and then they were all stuck together. But all of them is it was a dollar, so I just took them. And it's gonna I'm gonna have to get some some beat mania action going up in here, real ooh, real soon. This one, <laughs> I love this series. This is the Namco Museum series, and I've got a number of these. These are. I usually see them for $15, even at, like, Book Off. This one is munted, but it was a dollar. So I'm going to stick it in my disc polishing machine and see if I can make it work. It might not. It's got a circle scratch, and it's it's not happy. So I'm going to give it a little love, and if it doesn't work out, then I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on the wall as, like, a decoration. I'm not sure. Or I'll send it to somebody I don't like. I don't know. I wouldn't do that. Why would I do that? Okay. Oh, oops. Sorry. I missed a Famicom game. This one is Yoshi's Cookie. Yoshi's Cookie. It's orange. <sighs> I love the colors of those, but they don't have labels on the tops. Unacceptable. All right. Bunch of uh, PlayStation 2 games. Here we go. 
Initial D, special stage, one dollar. And all of these are in pretty good shape. I won't bother showing the backs of the discs, but I will do this thing, right? I still need to get this on the PS3. I haven't gotten around to it. Fantavision, which I'm pretty sure I have, but just to, just in case, I grabbed it. Huh? Did I say thanks, Lloyd, for the intro? I'm reminded of Lloyd because he's been talking about this game. If I didn't, I'm saying it now. I don't know. Uh, next game. Critical Velocity. One dollar. Make you holla. I am a fan of the Guilty Gear series. I like them a lot. I love the cell shaded graphics. I like the controls. I like the humor. They had three of them. I bought two because one of them was missing a manual and, and the disc was pretty scratched up. And I always can't remember which ones I have. I think I've got all of them on the PlayStation 2 except for one that is expensive for some reason. And I'm not I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it enough to feel like I must have that game. Anyway, this is Guilty Gear XX, the Midnight Carnival. One dollar. And this is Guilty Gear X plus, by your side, G Gear, I don't know, here you go. I had my PlayStation 2 games very nicely organized. Oh, this is upside down. And uh, shockingly, I acquired more PlayStation 2 games. And now, <laughs> well, some of them are still nicely organized, but I can't, uh, there's just not space. So I'm working on it. Zone of the Enders, produced by Hideo Kojima. And this one comes with, or came with, the, oh, shh, no manual. Shocking, why did I buy this? Well, I guess I wanted it. I guess I decided it was worth it even without a manual. Probably end up sending this to somebody or not. Metal Gear Solid 2 Subsistence uh, Trial Disc. Um, if you ever are looking at games and there's like a Japanese version of a game, I was talking to someone about this the other night and it says Tai Kem Bong. That means... Uh, demo version or trial version so don't think that it's like some special Japanese you know version that didn't come out elsewhere uh, Taiken bomb means demo version so there you go you heard it here and then there's the disc all right getting down to the end I think here's another cell shaded game that I I enjoy I can't remember how well I got on with the controls but it's Capcom so uh, yeah I remember selling this when I sold some of my PlayStation 2 games a long time ago, and then buying it back for a lot less than I sold it for, and feeling like I was pretty smart. Automodalista. And last, actually not last because I've got the consoles to show you, Time Crisis 2. I've got some Gun Con 2 games for the PS2, and I, I have yet to actually play any of them. So that is something on my to-do list. I'm looking over here because that's probably where I'll do my, my Gun Con games. There's a 29-inch Sony... What is it? Is it a... No, I can't remember. Trinitron? Trinitron? I guess it is a Trinitron. Uh, pretty good. CRT. And it's got the D, 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 D component input. So stick a PS2 in there and... Well, actually, I'll probably just... All right. Consoles. Uh, I have a Dreamcast that I need to send out to a friend. Holy crap, this is heavy. I never noticed how heavy these things are. This thing is... I mean, it doesn't... It's heavy. It doesn't look like it would be this heavy. Is there like some kind of funky thing happening with this? Why is it so heavy? I don't know. Are Dreamcast this heavy? Anyway, I got Dreamcast. It was in the junk bin. It was $3. Uh, so far, I think I've had good experience with stuff that I've gotten from the junk bin at Hard Off. I don't know. But it's not 
really yellowed. It looks pretty decent, and uh, so it never hurts to have an extra Dreamcast. No cables, so I mean, there's that. That'll cost more than the console cost, but I might have a couple laying around since I already have a Dreamcast. And now this is the last thing in a. Oh sh man, this video is long. <sighs> Want to hear a story about why that watch was just going off? Because <laughs> I want to make the video longer. I don't know if you could hear it beeping. How can I put this? Hmm. I don't think. A friend of mine was actually in detention, like jail. I won't go into any more details on that. But I went to visit him, because that's what you do when your friend's in jail. You go to visit. And he wanted me to call somebody. And I didn't have the number. So... I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to write anything down, like take notes. I don't know what the deal was with that. And I couldn't take my phone in there or anything, but I had my watch. So I programmed the alarm to be the first four digits of the number. And then I memorized the rest of them. And that has been the alarm ever since. So it always goes off <laughs> and it reminds me of that. Uh, and I almost never wear a digital watch. I pretty much stick with the analog stuff, but... For some reason, that day I happened to be wearing my G-Shock, and uh, I don't know. I, I don't really ever want to take the, the alarm off, because that's such a funny memory. But he's not in jail anymore, so that's good. <laughs> right, so the kind of spoiler is another the video that I need to make is uh, my... When I went to meet my fiancé at this moment, but by the time you watch this, maybe not. What? I don't know. Her dad. I went to meet her dad. It went really well. And that was when we made the video of me eating like the the weird food and stuff. Like the raw chicken and stuff. He was sitting across the table. And he actually tried it that night for the first time as well. And uh, we got on really well. So it was good. But, uh, and we stayed at his house. And that was, yeah. He gave me his video games. Because he doesn't play them anymore. And there weren't a ton. And some of them had belonged to my girlfriend and her sister. But they don't care. So I got them. Girlfriend complained a bit because she's like, oh, it's going to take up space. And I said, shut it. <laughs> uh, one of the things he gave me was uh, this. This box is in really good shape. And it had all the stuff. And it was a pretty good, you know, pretty clean. So I put it all back together in the box, very otaku-y, you know, and they're just kind of watching me and talking and stuff. But I mean... I'm me, and I was acting just normal, I guess, to me. Nobody really said anything, but yeah, I get it. You know, people who are like, oh, put it back in the box, oh, are a special breed. But anyway, he still liked me despite that. The PlayStation, I tested it the other day, and it boots up, and the menu screen comes on, and it's kind of slow, the music, and then it just sits there. So, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it needs a new laser. I don't know much about that kind of stuff, but... I, the reason I wanted to go to Hard Off uh, and decided to go even though I talked myself out of it was because I wanted to find a replacement so that I could keep it in that box. And a replacement I found. They had loose ones like the Dreamcast for $3, but I spent an extra 2 to get one that had been tested. So, And this one's cleaner. I mean, it's in really good shape, actually. I haven't taken out of the plastic yet, obviously, but I don't have a problem with doing that now, I guess, because why not? It's already... Yeah, I want to get the cords up so they don't scratch up the console. But, I mean, it's gotten to the point that when I go to hard off, <laughs> the staff are like, thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, so I got these two, which I don't need, but it, it never hurts to have extras, especially these. Uh, some of my friends and pal might be needing those. I don't know. But, yeah, I paid a couple dollars more because this one is cleaner and it had been tested. And, wow. This has, uh, I'm looking for scratches. It's got a little bit of, it needs to be cleaned, but... Dang. This doesn't even have a scratch on it. Nice. That'll go well in the box. Seriously. It's a PlayStation 1 with no scratches. It does have a, a couple areas that need to be cleaned, but seriously, seriously. How many times can I say seriously? More, more times. So this is an SCPH... 5500 and uh, it's gonna go in that box but I'll, I'll test it one more time just to make sure and that's it this video got so long I'm sorry I 
Don't know how that happened. Uh, cheers. Thanks for watching. forgot the most important thing I got. Well, I wasn't, I don't know if it's the most important. It's the most expensive. I paid uh, $30 for this at Hard Off, mind you. This was, I mean, once in a while they know that some games are actually worth something, so. <clears throat> but I was looking through my Sega Saturn games the other day, and why is it suddenly, is it my hat? Oh, how's it going? <laughs> I was looking through my Sega Saturn games the other day, and pretty sure I didn't have this and I thought how can I not have that game so I got the Salamander Deluxe Pack Plus which includes Salamander Life Force and Salamander 2 as you can see here or can you there you go I can see you, but you can't see me. You can only see my chin. But I can see you through the crack. You look funny. And, of course, it came with the spine card. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty sure $30 was a good deal for this game. Not an amazing deal, but, you know, on the, on the reasonable side. Well into the reasonable side. So there you go. I just figured I'd be thorough. This is all the stuff I got at Hard Off. Thanks again for watching, and for reals, bye bye